for watching Mid Morning this Wednesday. The winter respiratory season is mm. off to an early start. Minnesota and other states are seeing an increase in kids getting RSV and other illnesses. Almost all children get RSV at least once before they're over the age of two. And while for most healthy children, RSV is like a cold, some other kids can get very, very sick. So to help parents figure out when it's the prior time to call the doctor, we have Dr. Gigi joining us this morning, the Chief of General Pediatrics at Children's Minnesota. Dr. Gigi, thanks for always joining us. Uh, well, thanks for having me again. Okay, so why are we seeing this increase right now when it comes to RSV? Well, RSV surges every every year, um, and typically we expect it sometime between the months of November and January. This year, it's a little bit early, and I think you know just the the viral pressures that we're seeing out there. For whatever reason, it's coming just a little bit early this year. Mm -hmm. okay. And so, what are some of the things that parents need to look out for? Signs and symptoms. So RSV really causes a lot of the same cold symptoms that you would expect for yourself if you had a cold. So mm -hmm. congestion, a little bit of fever, some body aches, a sore throat, and a cough. But for little kids, really under the age of two, they don't keep it all in their noses and they don't have sinus passages per mm -hmm. se. Um, so that, that congestion, that cough, that mm -hmm. mucus, really goes all the way down to their bronchial trees, oh. into their chest, and they've got this wicked cough and a lot of mucus that they're producing. Okay. okay. So then uh, what can parents do in those situations to kind of, you know, have some relief for their child? Yeah, it can be very difficult for families and for kids because there's not, I mean, it's, it's a lot like just dealing with a common cold for yourself, mm -hmm. mostly symptomatic treatment. Mm -hmm. And so Tylenol or Motrin for, um, for fever and for comfort, and then anything that you can do to get that mucus out. So they Off make a lot of great products, something like a nose Frida or something like that, that can really help suck out that mucus so that they can get air in and breathe comfortably. Um, but really the hallmark is making sure that your kids can stay hydrated, honestly. Okay. If your kids can stay hydrated, drink enough fluids, mm -hmm. then the mucus that their body is making stays thin enough mm -hmm and it's easier to get out. Okay. As soon as they start to get dehydrated, that mucus gets really, really thick mm -hmm. and it gets stuck and they and then you even have trouble getting it out. Okay. So is then, that when you need to go to the exactly. doctor? Yeah. Yeah. So you'll start seeing, you know, if you're if your child really isn't drinking well, uh, can't stay hydrated, you're not seeing good wet diapers or urine output, no tears. Obviously, those signs of dehydration need to be uh, assessed. Okay. Um, from a breathing standpoint, um, you can start to see mucus that you really can't get out. Kids can then have a lot of difficulty breathing. You can see their chest start to cave in, mm. some um, little tugging uh, of breathing right uh, at the base of their neck. Um, and you know, in, in worst case scenarios, they can look like they're pale or turning blue or things like that. And so really, if they're breathing too fast or if you have any concerns, you do need to seek attention. Quick question for you, because back in the day, I mean, it was my mom still would it be, it'd be Vicks and a oh, vaporizer. Oh, yeah, sure. And a vaporizer. Yeah. So is that still good to do or? Uh, the vaporizers are great, okay. right? Because you're putting extra moisture in the air. That uh, alone may help loosen up a lot of the mucus. I don't know. I'm kind of so-so about the whole Vicks thing. Okay. I think families love it. They use it. And if you feel like that is what helps open up your baby's nasal passages, because it's got I, the mentholatum. I it, know. Right? I, I don't know that it, it really helps that much, okay. but I know f some families like to use that. Okay. And I, See, I that's why we ask you. Uh, you're, yeah. you're the professional. Yeah. We ask I, you. I would really err on the side of let's use the things that we know work, which yeah. are um, make the air as moist as possible, whether it's using a vaporizer mm -hmm. or going to the bathroom, turn on the shower, and, okay. and just um, be in your bathroom getting that misty air for a while. Mm -hmm. And, and suck out that mucus as much as possible. Natural <laughs> remedies here. All right, Dr. Gigi, thanks as always. Thanks for having me. Yeah.